Well, hello there. It's Multicular Joe, and today I'm signing in for some more All the Wools add-on deeper dive into the Wooler Door. So the Wooler Door is this. Basically, it acts as a drop door or garage door. So how you make a Wooler Door is, let me see, am I even in the, the right? Yes, I should be. Okay, so how you make a Wooler Door is you have to have one chain and six wool. It works just like the car. You can even color it. Like this. Have have one. And it works basically like a garage door or just a drop door. Good for bases. Also, it won't crush you. It just moves you out of the way. Which is another neat detail. And it works exactly like the car works when it breaks it br it basically you can pick it up again which is really nice but the only sucky thing is if it's like a different color and let's say you break it down because you inked it if you don't have the rainbow thing it'll just be it'll just be white again which kind of sucks but it is a thing also, it can become sparkly too, just like the car, just like my last video. Doesn't glow, it sparkles, there's a difference, you see those little sparkly things. Okay, so, Kabushki. It works just like the car, you knock it down, dun dun dun. Okay, so basically, the Wooler door is is three blocks wide and four dot or four blocks tall so if you're putting it at a base i'm just giving an example you can use any type any type of block you want for this but yeah so with that being said let's see if we can get on top of it okay okay we pulled it up no, you go straight through. So you can't use it as a draw bridge, unfortunately. That's one of the disadvantages to it. But, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give another example in a few minutes. I'll be right back. I've got to check if it can hold up against mobs. Well, hello again. So I've decided to test something with eggs. Okay, let's do this and this. Okay, I've got some nice little torches here. There we go. Okay, so. Now we're going to test if it can hold up against these vile mobs. Oh shit, I might have just... Okay. Running, running, running. Woo. Okay. Oops, I think I made a mistake. Will they break through it? I don't think they can break through it. I think I messed up. Okay. Come after me. Quit attacking each other. Oh my god, they just killed each other. Okay, so obviously a spider can climb up. But it looks like you're safe in here. Spider might be able to climb up the wall. I don't think they can get in. Okay, so... Okay, so they do take damage if arrows hit them, but... It acts as a wall and an entity at the same time. So yes, the wooler doors do work. Just... If skeletons are around, just be careful because if they shoot at it, it should go down. Let's... Let's see how many hits it takes to make it go down. Yeah, come on. Come on. Okay, how many hits does it take to make it go down? But yeah, uh, they can't break through the door unless you intervene or get on top of it. Yeah, come on. 
Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and see if they can break it. Okay, so they can, they can break it. Okay, but they will beat up each other. So, yeah, the only time they can break through it, I would say, is if you jumped on top of it and you kind of just looked down at them and was like, Hey, come get me, bitch. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I'm dead. But yeah, so it, it does work. It does work pretty good. Okay. It does work pretty good. Be sure to like, subscribe. This has been Multicular Joe here, and I'll do more videos like this as long as you give me a comment and you want to see stuff like this, just let me know. Um, I'll be signing out now. The only way, basically, the mobs can get in is if um, you interfere somehow and you stand on top of the wool, and that's it. But yeah, I am signing out. Thank y'all for watching. I ain't got no money for living. I ain't forgiving of what you done. I ain't got no reason for thinking. I'm just doing what I've always done. I'm gonna take you down.